Welcome to the News at 11. I'm Vic Carter, and Arona County is now the latest county in our area to ban plastic bags. For you, it means if you don't bring your own reusable bag, you will soon pay 10 cents for one. Jessica Albert was at tonight's meeting, and Jessica, you spoke with people who were for and against the change. Yeah, that's right, Vic. There were many people at tonight's meeting who were in a f in a, in favor of the ban. However, there were a few people there who are concerned about how about how it will impact low-income families. This bag ban will go into effect next year. Six in the affirmative, one in the negative. Bill number 1923 has been passed. The Anne Arundel County Council passing the Bring Your Own Bag Plastic Reduction Act Monday night. I really appreciate it when we can work cooperatively and in a bipartisan fashion. Starting January 1st, 2024, most plastic bags will be banned in the county and retail stores will be required to charge customers 10 cents for a paper bag. This bill's passing has been a long process for Anne Arundel County. First introduced in March, several amendments were proposed to be added to the bill, laying a vote until those amendments could be agreed upon. One of those approved amendments includes an exemption for restaurants from the ban. The county residents care about our trees, care about our forests, they care about the waterway. There were several supporters of the bill at the meeting. We've seen a six to one vote of county council, which is very unusual and shows strong support um, from the council. While many of the people who attended Monday night's council meeting were in favor of the bag ban, a representative from Clean Water Action had concerns low-income families wouldn't be able to afford the extra cost. Exempt folks who are using SNAP and WIC benefits from that because I personally was on WIC when my first child was born and I can tell you I did not have enough money to spend. And stores will be given a warning first if they're caught violating the ban. After that, they could be fined. Reporting live tonight at 11, Jessica Albert for WJC.